Fourth quarter underway. Flags are everywhere for the Friars here. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> It's on the offense. And the fourth down try it was already not as easy as it was. And now it's gonna be moved back by five yards. Lawrence down here with you. How about that? The Lawrence down here with you this morning. We have witnessed the Lancers over last night and today. Continue their dominance on non conference competition. No, it's got to put it up. And it's going to be turned over on down. Lancers back out there. And 54 and counting in this one. 10:30, run and cut. Got room and got even more space. Right inside of Fry Territory. The running back, number 34. Moving the ball down the field here. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. Curly in a couple weeks will be at Loyola Saturday afternoon in uh, September, September the 15th. Loyola, don't know, non-conference. Lee throws. Oh, almost intercepted and almost caught too and complete. Nine twenty one left. Hey, tell Trevor that back at the back of his gonna be his Trevor's second down and ten. Play action pass. Leads with time, throwing down. Got his man, flag is down. And, off. and then a great pass in the Browns is called. So the ball be, unlike the NFL, the rule is more like college, gonna be Fifteen yard penalty. Some of the college and what do I have about the college football coming your way today? So the ball is at the twenty-three yard line of uh, Osbishop Carroll for Legan on. High formation. And a run, no question about it, right up the middle. And right at the first time marker there. Number 31, Michael Bromley. Second and short, the ball's on the ground. Lee was able to jump on it and preserve it. So it will not be turned over. So it's third down here. Coming out.
Third and about two. Another run, first down. First and ten, 6.30 left in this one. So the clock is continually running. Another run by the big fella up the middle, number 33, Joseph Brucey, the junior, and he gains a couple. For second and about seven coming up. And a timeout. By Legano. They take time. Take you over to the scoreboard. 30, 35 point lead for the Lancers. 42 7. Right back at Ellis Bishop Curley starting next Saturday is the Curly Fall League in the Dice One Network. We bring you coverage of the Curly Fall League throughout September as well as the Tunnel Vision Fall League. High school basketball. Right here on the Dinosaur Network, of course. We're on to that. And the best in both high school basketball, high school football. We're going to throw some other sports in there as well coming up here. So just stay tuned. We've got a lot of good stuff coming your way. Right now, though, the Lancers are trying to get a little more scoring in. Pull up their points in the MPSSAA standings, which of course don't come into effect really until October. And we see a win against the MIA B Conference team. Well, on the road is huge. So what time did it start? 544 left. High snap for Lee. She breaks. He throws. End zone and complete. Third down. Me. Run! Bow! What a collision there. Josh Knapp met him. Gains a couple of those. Gonna be second down. So you know it's fourth down. Fourth and about, let's see where that ball's gonna be at. Fourth and about five. I think they will kick the field goal here. There was an extra point on this end last night that did not go. But then this kick now, it is good. So increase that score, 45 to 7. For Ligonor. Football games coming up here on the Dinosaur Network here in September because it is September now. It will be, of course, later today, Mervo and Delaney at John Hopkins. And then we'll be coming your way afterwards with football in a couple weeks, September 22nd, with Mervo and Dunbar matchup here in the city. And then the following week, 
looking at William Taff at Murrowville. Definitely that game. Or we could be doing a twin bill that day with Memphis Mill and Parkville. First, trying to get the runner up in the 3A conference. The MPSSAA. This was Memphis Mill. I guess right now, I guess at this point in the game. Two fifty-eight minute has gone on. Squib kit. And just gonna roll on it right at the 34-yard line. Well, as we are coming down the stretch in this one. Thank you for joining us, braving the weather. You won't see it technically, because we're gonna have all the kings up around the same time, but Trust me, I tell you, the weather conditions was not ideal last night. First and ten. Oh, still getting some work. Fakes it, fumbles it, and Leganor gets it back. So with two, oh six left. You know, just gonna right, run the ball here and get on out of Baltimore with this huge win. Which will help them down the line for the postseason. The FBSSAA. And for Curly, we're gonna try to get back. Back to square one. Run. And nowhere to go. That's what you want to see. And always read. Unless you got one of the guys hurt. And that King Coco down on the field here, and they're going to check on him right now. And that's what you definitely don't want is injury. That's not about that. We're going to take you away from that. Coach and staff coming on now. Hopefully, we will be all right. Clock is stopped at 124 here in the fourth quarter. Soko will be okay. There's one twenty four left. And up the middle for the Lancers there. Time is ticking right off this clock. Fifty three seconds left. I got quarterbacks in, everybody's getting some work. Gonna go for a home run ball and then complete. Clock. Continue to run. Maybe they can get one more play in and that will do it. <laughs> and that will do it. Ligonor will go to 1 0. Both teams, of course, spared the elements last night, but was able to come back today, finish this one off 
Look at our wins, 45 to 7, as we say, so long to you and the High School Network. We're back with you with Merville and Delaney. Coming up here later. Until then, we say some on ticket.